In this activity, we will see how we can separate a mixture of sand and salt. For this, we require salt, sand, beaker, water, spatula, a glass stirrer, kerosene burner, tripod stand and a matchbox. First, we'll take a small amount of salt in a beaker. Add sand to it. Now they have formed a mixture. To separate sand and salt, we'll choose such a solvent in which one of the component is soluble, whereas the other one is not. So the best solvent in this case is water, because we all know that sand does not dissolve in water, whereas salt it dissolves. We'll pour water in the beaker containing sand and salt. Stir the mixture well. And leave the mixture undisturbed for some time. After some time, we'll see that sand, it settles down at the bottom of the beaker whereas salt it dissolves in water. Take another beaker and pour the water in it. This process in which we separate the liquid component by pouring it into another beaker is known as decantation. So in this way, your sand is separated from the salt solution. To separate salt from this salt solution, we'll do evaporation. For this, we'll first light up the kerosene burner. Place it below the tripod stand and keep the beaker containing the salt solution on the tripod stand for heating. As this solution it gets heated up, we'll see that water it starts evaporating. After the entire water has evaporated, we'll see that the solid component which is the salt is left behind. In this way, we can separate a mixture of sand and salt by using water as a solvent, followed by decantation and then by evaporation.